What's that? A poem, then? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Behold the turkey and the eagle, two brothers of a feathered clan. Yet one's a fool, the other regal. And herein lies a case for man. Now, I'm no ornithologist, but I know turkeys, goodness knows. Nor am I an apologist for Maliagris Galopovo. Our good Ben Franklin once extolled the turkey's virtues, each and all. Forgive me, Ben, if I seem bold, but I believe you dropped the ball. The turkey is a shameful beast, clumsy, oafish, out of sorts. It eats the most, it works the least, a lazy bird by most reports. Why, look at their ignoble faces, the fleshy snood that dangles down. The waddle waddles every place, side to side and all around. And though their wings are most impressive, they scarce can lift them off the dirt. They flail the air and make a mess of flying in such awkward spurts. They're lacking in intelligence, a stupid bird with little heart. And should you need some evidence, well, watch them when a panic starts. They gather in a frightened mass and shuffle madly towards a wall. They squawk and push until, alas, they trample those that chance to fall. Perhaps the best that one may write in their defense is this alone, that when you cook them up just right, the meat just falls right <laughs> off the bone. Now, if you crave elucidation, I submit this dossier for your astute consideration, the noble eagle's resume. Why look upon that steely gaze, the kingly bird with snowy crown, the eyes that from a mile away can spot a rabbit on the ground. He builds his nest so high atop the canyon cliffs and towering trees that if you tried to climb, you'd stop because you'd soil your dungarees. <laughs> and should you wish to harm an eagle, I'd implore you stop and think. In every state, it's quite illegal, and they'll throw you in the clink. Yes, eagles are a faithful lot, for when they mate, they mate for life. Unlike my cousin Cletus, who just ran off with my best friend's wife. Why, everything about this bird speaks of strength and liberty, of justice, courage, undeterred, vision, will, and sovereignty. To watch one soar above the clouds inspires the most disheartened men. My goodness, we exclaim aloud, to what great heights might I ascend? Well, the answer's here, for look around. And though your days are filled with tests, Instead of scrambling on the ground, you chose to soar above the rest. Consider on an average day, you might arrive to work, but then your first two patients call to say, I'm sorry, we're not coming in. You shake it off, but hours later, fitting an impression tray, it lodges in your patient's crater, and then the handle snaps away. That afternoon, you might be drilling. Once again, the day goes south. The drill burr catches, blood comes spilling, and then you have to stitch a mouth. There's dropped veneers and broken crowns and patients armed with HMOs. Bank deposits can't be found. We've got a gagger. There she blows. <laughs> And yet, well, that one resonated, didn't it, huh? <laughs> and yet, it's hardly eagle-like to wallow in your own distress, to grouse alongside turkeys and so validate your unsuccess. No, it's genius that you emulate. Instead of mediocrity, you do what's right without debate, which comes as no great shockity.
And so you soared as of a feather and trained your eyes on those in need, the helpless and impoverished, whether here at home or across the seas. The eagle on our dollar bill holds arrows in an olive branch to symbolize both strength of will and the heart to give each life a chance. Well, that's you, my friends. You took to flight and carried all your weighty things with vision clear and vision bright to lofty heights on eagles' wings. Thank you very much. Gordy Boudreau.